Your thoughts on the 2017, the way it's starting off, it already looks pretty good. You guys yeah. have, uh, obviously, Frank and Santa Cruz, too. Yeah. Your fight on that card, uh, supposed Rios versus Ortiz, a fight everybody's been wanting to see, no matter where they're at in their career right now. Then we have uh, Thurman versus Garcia in March. So that's basically January and February and March. Those are the three big fights. Seems to start off good, and that's usually how boxing is at the beginning of the year. Do you think if PBC and Top Rank start working together, Golden Boy and Top Rank start working together, that things could progress in 2017, could just basically erase the memory of what 2016 was? Uh, not that it'll erase it, but it'll make up for it, and, and, and it seems like it's going to shape to be, it's shaping up to be a very good year. With uh, Richard Schaefer coming in the picture, from what I hear, he's yeah, starting yeah. his first show is December. Yeah, he's, but, uh, he's also doing the Santa Cruz Frampton where I'm fighting. Then uh, he might, you know, keep busy, and that that could also, you know, stir things up in, in a good, positive way. Yeah. He was in control of Golden Boy for, for for a while, and they were doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. That's when when all these guys were doing very well. He was out of the picture, and it kind of, you know, tumbled and, and went away, but. Now he's back, he might, you know, make things happen. If he can start working together and putting the shows together, and, and he's got the experience to do it, he knows what it takes to build a, a, a fighter and, and promote the fighter, not just the fight for that day, but keep the promotion going, you know, he could make some things happen. And it seems like it's going to start off like a great year. Hopefully that, that one might have to keep it going. I don't want to brush by what he brought up of uh, Rios versus Ortiz, especially with you guys. So just what, what are your thoughts on, on that? Fight being made, just what, what kind of thing is going into it? I think it's, 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 it's a fight that uh, even though Rios got uh, got stopped by Timothy Brennan in his last fight and, and Ortiz got beat win by, uh, by uh, if they fight, whoever they fight, it's not gonna, it's not, people are not really gonna be interested if they fight other, mm -hmm. other fighters. Fight. That's right. But against each other, it's still people are still gonna want to watch that. It's a fight that uh, people been asking for 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 a while already, and uh, even though they, they they're both maybe at the end of their careers, or maybe they should have fought uh, when they were younger, mm -hmm. uh, it's still gonna be interesting to watch. It's a fight that I. That uh, sucks because I'm not involved anymore. But, uh, you'll still be there. I'll be there. I'm not involved, but uh, you know, it's, I, I, I definitely want to see it. You know, I would have liked been part of it, but you know, it's still it's still a fight that I I, I want to be there and uh, and uh, it'll be it'll be a good fight actually. I think it's gonna be I think it'll be uh, make a good fight because because Ortiz has really good power and and good skills. Brandon has a great chin. Great heart, he keeps coming, and he also packs good power. So it's you know it's it's a fight that uh, that uh, that will that could go either way, depending on how well Brandon trained or how well Victor comes out. And 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 and, and if Victor starts off the first few rounds very good, then that gives him that confidence to continue doing the same thing. But the moment that that Brandon lands and, and, and gets Victor to, to back up and to take the punch, then that's where Brandon could take over. So it, it's a very interesting fight. Mike, you have, how do you, you grew up, you both of you guys know Brandon very well, but I don't think there's been a fight where he's had this kind of extra motivation of like anger almost, but you know, like towards the other guy like this. How do you think like training camp will go being that, you know, he has that kind of extra motivation? If, if the fight is, is, is uh finalized and done deal and they actually have a date and everything and I think that will motivate Brandon more because of all the, the past history and if, uh, if Brandon trains well and prepares himself like he should and doesn't wait till the last minute to cut weight and because that really hurts mm -hmm. him right. um, then then he's got a very good chance as long as like I said he trains well and prepares for it well but it will be, you know, a little difficult maybe the first couple of rounds where Victor's still fresh. Because Victor starts off fresh, he can move, he's got the skills. If he can build that confidence up, then it, it could be a, a, a harder fight for, for Brandon. But as soon as Brandon starts landing a few punches, I think Victor uh, starts to uh, back back away, back off, and, and Brandon takes over at that point. But uh, it all depends on how, Brand, how well Brandon comes. Cause Victor does train well. I know Victor always in good shape. He's always in good shape. Whether he loses or gets stopped or quits or whatever, that's on him. That's that's mental. 
but I know he, he put the, the hours in the gym because we know Victor and he always trains hard. He probably does more than he should. He, he probably does more than he should. We know him. Brandon trains hard, but his problem has always been kind of the diet, cutting the weight. So if he does a good job, you know, I, I still stick stick behind Brandon because I know Brandon is this the tough motherfucker. He's going to come. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you were saying, Mike, he, he, uh, Victor Ortiz has a tremendous uh, skill set. But one thing he doesn't seem to have, or at least in this stage of his career, he can't seem to sustain a heavy attack, you know, that uh, aggression that Brandon shows. Is that going to be a problem for Victor? Well, that aggressive approach? If, uh, <coughs> so like I said, if, if Victor starts off early and, and gets the momentum going and grows his confidence, that's, that's, that's how Victor fights his best, once he gets that confidence going. But going into the fight, he's not going to be that confident because he knows Brandon is tough and they got all that history behind him. So if he can build it inside the ring within the first two, three, four rounds possibly, then it could be a long night. But if Brandon picks up the pace early on and maybe hurts Victor or, or just starts landing some punches and intimidates Victor just by smiling at him, calling him, you know, <laughs> then, then, yeah, then, yeah, you then that's when Brandon takes over. That's when Brandon will take over because Victor won't be able to do that. Victor won't be able to, you know, keep that. And even if Brandon isn't able to, you know, be relentless like, like he once was, you know, that he still has enough to take over and, right. and, and beat Victor. Because like I said, at that point, Victor, you know, his, his heart, his, his, his mental game is, is at his weakest. I wonder why Victor even called him out. I don't, like, where did that come from? Because it's been so long. See, but that, that also, that also, he's, he, he he's called him out. Right. So that also... My, you know, being that it's against Brandon, he he might. We're saying we're saying Brandon, being that it's Victor, Brandon might might make way comfortable the way he should. So then Victor, knowing that it's against Brandon, he might he might not give up. He might have that that extra 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 fire extra fire for that fight. So that's why it's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> you think a fight could uh, possibly take place at the step up? Hey, that, that, that's where I, that's where it belongs. Right.